Okay. Problem take five. We're going to do this again. I keep having computer problems. Let's hope my frustration doesn't make this really bad, but I think I can do this. Okay, breathe. Breathe. All right. We're going to remake this. The function of this is this is pretty much encompassing everything you've learned and a tad more. So if you can do this, you should be fine. I'm going to walk you through it. In fact, I'll walk you through two problems, but then I need you to do a couple on your own just so I know that you know that I know that you know how to do this stuff. Okay? I want you to really try to do this stuff on your own. Okay? Or maybe just one more problem. We'll see. Line enter. Click someplace. Go four inches to the right. Okay? So I do this line that goes from here to here. Next thing I do is I'm going to do is draw these circles up here first. Okay, so we'll knock out the easy stuff first. Now, remember, circle defaults in radius. So the R is radius. Click here, one enter. Okay, I'm going to go C enter again. This is a diameter symbol. I have to go half, so I'm going 0.5 here. Got that? Good. Circle enter again. Click here. This is 1.5. I type in 1.5. Okay. Circle again. Two, I need a half that, and that goes one inch. You good? So I did a one inch radius, 0.5 radius, 1.5 radius, and one. You may be asking yourself, why did I put these in as diameter? Well, that's a proper way to show a, a circle dimension. All right. While we're in this mess, let's do this polygon right here. Okay. Polygon. Remember, P O L. Number of sides, six. So you type six enter. You click your middle. This one is a circumscribed. All right, and then I type in 0.5 because it wants a radius. This is a diameter. All right, now you notice mine is shifted. So we're going to rotate this. The, the command for rotate is RO. I'm going to click this, press enter. Now I need to click what's called a base point or an origin point, which is right here. Now I can move it over. I'm going to type 15. Now, it should be at a little slant now. Okay, just like that. Next step on this is I'm going to draw this line right up here. Okay, this is uh, this is something new. This is called a line tangent. So I'm typing L enter. I'm typing tan. Okay, click the circle right here. Type in tan. Click this right here. And it draws myself a little line like this. Easy. Okay, next thing is i got to get this mess down here set up. The, there'll be a lot of lines at first, and then we're going to erase them later. Okay. Go L enter. You're going to click in the middle of this. Draw a line down three inches. That's going to give me this length right here. Go to the right and bank over 1.4. Oops. So, three inches, 1.4. All right. I'm going to do my other ones next. The next two are the same. 1.4 down, 1.4 to the right. Try to keep it easy. Okay, next I'm going to draw these circles right here. Okay, the insides are both 0.5. So circle enter, 0.5. Press enter, which we did the last command, 0.5. Okay, let me do this outside one, which is a 1 inch radius. Circle enter, there. One inch. Okay, next I need you to draw a line from middle to middle. Okay, this is going to help us with these lines right here. Got that? If I'm going too fast, slow down. You always have the pause button. Great thing about YouTube videos is you can pause me and uh, make me be quiet a little bit. All right, so I'm going to erase these lines here because I'm done with them because they're going to get in my way and just confuse me. I'm going to offset. 0.5. Go this way and this way, and you'll see here how these attach. They're the same length and everything, so they're perfect. I also need to bring this one up here one more time. So all these are 0.5 spaced. Okay, Believe it or not, you're almost done. You probably don't believe me, though. I wouldn't believe me either. Okay, I do need to do something kind of weird here next, is I need to do a mirror command, because I need to use this guy and this guy in, in one. Mirror is MI. I touched on this slightly throughout the semester. So if I type in MI, I click this line right here. I press enter. Now uh, I need a mirror line 
to go from here to here, and I click. And I press Enter. So that's a mirror. Okay, now I'm going to do a little filleting right here. Now, apparently I didn't put this measurement right here. So that's 1.25. So watch this now. I'm going to do a fillet this time. F enter, R enter, 1.25. Click here, click here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? You did good. Okay, one more trimming and we're done. Believe it or not, we're almost finished with this problem. And you thought it was going to be hard. Okay, this time we're going to do what's called a tangent tangent radius. No, I didn't stutter saying tangent twice. This is really a tangent tangent radius. So you click down here. You have to click up here around this side because it has to hit a tangent up here. A tangent down here at the bottom. Type 6. You press enter and look at that. Okay, last thing you do. Da 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 da. Trim. Don't need this. I'll erase this stuff later. I don't need this. 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 Uh, don't need this. Don't need this. 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 Erase this. Alrighty. There we go. Um, I would like you to add a couple dimensions on here to make it look like this. Okay. But I'm not going to show you that in order to save time on my video. Okay. Once you're finished, I need you to print. And just move these over. Okay. Remember, this is how you print. Okay, so we're all going to do this real quick. You go down to size A. Hopefully we opened up the same way. If not, I can help you find your way. Open to size A. Okay, you should have your drawing right here. Remember, you have paper space. If you click out here, model space inside, paper space outside, model space inside, model space, you can zoom in and out. First thing I want you to do is set your scale. You move your mouse down here with this thing saying model. Let's try one to one first. Too big. One to two. That's just right. Okay, that's set. Leave it. Okay, switch this back to paper space. You're going to double click this. And you're going to put down um, fundamental problem. Then you hit scale, and it should be 1 to 2. Press OK. Over here, you need to change your name. You are not Amanda Hug and Kiss. You might be a woman to be Amanda Hug and Kiss, but you're not Amanda Hug and Kiss. So, Ryan Roif. Change your date. You're doing this tomorrow, so this should be 12 1 16. It's almost Christmas time. Press OK. OK. Last thing you have to do is print this. So you go up here to the top. You hit this guy right here. You press print. Click continue. Change this to 216. Press OK. And I'll probably end up giving you this problem tomorrow, looking exactly like this. So now you're done, at least with this problem, okay? I'm going to do one more with you guys just to let you see how to do these next ones because you're going to use little layers, but that will be on the next video in order to make sure that I have enough time on it, okay? Thank you very much for doing this. Until next time.